Hi guys, to trap back for a new video. We are back for the video about troops composition and gear and jewels for to build the trap. So it will be the last episode of the series how to build a solo trap. And I will start with the troops composition. So um, there are so many types of solo trap and I know there are many possibility of composition so today I will give my subjective tips my subjective troops composition I will explain why I took this one and why I recommend it so if you not agree that's cool don't say it in commenter I don't care that's my own my own ID and I recommend it so I know all solo trap had T1 front line but I don't recommend it except if you have really good stats but if you don't have like 400 mixed stats don't go for T1 T1 front line go to for a T2 front line T2 are really strong so I recommend T2 front line for your solo trap so for for the, for the start make 1 million infantry t2 okay that's the base okay then you go make some range troops so make t1 troops t1 range and to start make 2 million range t1 2 million then make some cavalry make at same as range 2 million and you have a uh, not strong trap but you can keep few guys but it's not strong it will be the base of your troops composition after that if you want to improve your trap you will just have to improve your troops composition number so get up your gladiators to 1.5 million and get up your range T1 to like 3 or 4 million same for cavalry you can get 3 or 4 million cavalry T1 and if you are if you have more gems more speed ups on one or you want to be sure to cap almost every player you can get to 2 million infantry T2 and 5 million T1 range and 5 million T1 cavalry that's huge troops amount, but well, if you have enough speed ups or gems, go for it, guys. The more troops you have, the more safe you are. So that's your choice. Um, remember, two million or at least one million gladiators, two million between two and five million of French T1, and same for Cav between 2 and 5 million cavalry T1 and I promise you with this comp and not um, really bad gear if you have decent gear you will cap almost every player I can't say if you will cap gold gear, uh, mythic gear or anything like that because that depends of your heroes, gear, jewels so I can't promise anything then I will speak about gear. Uh, what you want as a trap is infantry attack, cavalry attack, range attack, army max HP, army attack, and infantry defense. Oh uh, no, my bad, infantry HP. So you can go to, I don't know, you want inf, you, you go here but I won't use that I won't select filter but just go here if you level 59 you go here and this one is pretty good but what you want you want to try to get at least two stats two stats of what I say before infantry cav range attack infantry max HP army attack army HP so go here 
it gives range attack and army defense so that's really not bad that's a possibility you go here here nothing here this one give only cavalry attack and cavalry max hp that suck because your cavalry is not your front line and you go here you see indulgent visage infantry attack range attack that's perfect that's what you want it gives two stats and you can try to get it to blue minimum if you can get to purple that's perfect and if you can go to gold or mythic that's perfect <laughs> if you get if you can get it to blue or purple that's already really good so write it if you can do indulgent visage do it then there are not much you can do before level 60 and if you level 60 try to get beast elm try to because it's really good it gives infantry attack cavalry attack and army max hp that's what you want if you can have to green that's good and if you can get to blue that's perfect yeah if you can get to purple <laughs> But that's really hard to get Beast Arm to purple because it's expensive to my own opinion. So try to get it to green or blue and that will be perfect. You can do Bumble Helm too because it gives Cav, Range and Army HP. So that's what you want. Um, if you compare the two, it's, I, you can't compare them because that depends on what you have. If you want cavalry attack, you can go for the two, but if you want range attack, go for Bumble Elm, because it gives cav and range. But myself, I want, for example, infant cav, I will go for Beast Elm. That's, that depends of your jewels and your other gear. So, to level 60, make either Beast Elm or Bumble Elm. And for level before level 60, go for indulgent visage. Okay, that's the best one. Then armor for the level 60, try to get firewall plates if you want inf cav and edenic cuirass for before level 60 is really strong. That's really strong. But I know halos are hard to get, but try to get it to blue or even green blue that will be perfect that give huge huge stats in range 11 percent and it give infantry max hp and you have a front line uh, infantry so that's perfect so i repeat try to get um edonic cuirass and if you can't do it try to get carapace that's good too, not the best, but not bad. And level 60 firewall plate is really good. And if you get if you can get <laughs> champion gear go, but I don't think. Our armor of the abyss is really strong too because in gold it gives army attack and infantry defense. So that's not bad. So before level 60 I repeat Azer. Armor of the Abyss or Edonic Curas. Don't do Winter Carpa. Parka. Oh my bad. But if you can't do anything except Winter Parka, do it. It still give army HP and infantry attack. But why I say to not do Winter Parka? It's because if you want to do mitts, Winter mitts, you will need the festive bell okay so now we will see what gear to do and dragon talons are the best to my opinion it's much easier to get than tassets and it give good uh, stats give aim and range attack and army hp if you can get to blue that's perfect Green is good too, 
but try to get it to blue and of course if you can get it to purple or gold or mythic go for it tasset it's almost impossible but in green it's really good it gives in cav attack and army hp so remember what i said what you want is always minimum of two stats like you see in cav perfect and army hp i mean max hp perfect so that was for level 60 for level 55 leg of the deceiver are the best one to my opinion because it give army attack and range attack so that's really good if you can go for it try to get it to blue that's already really good and if you can't go for leg of the deceiver try to get um this one Onycom chaps it give cav and range attack so like i said before that's two stats cav and range attack so yeah i repeat for before level 60 go for onycom chaps this one or deciver this one and when you level 60 either you go from tassets or taloon or if you have gold deciver you can compare legs of the deciver in gold between what's the best i mean depends of what you can do if you have only in blue you can maybe use a deciver gold deciver i mean that's your choice then main end for level 60 of course if you can make skull crusher in purple <laughs> do it but that's really hard crusher skull crusher is awesome if you can make it to blue that's really good it give huge stats of army attack plus range attack a uh, run yeah range attack and infantry defense so that's a really good piece but first wing sword is much easy to get so if you get if you can get it to blue or purple that's perfect so for level 60 either first wing or skull crusher for level 55 you have a choice you can do nectar orb calf range you can do decadent sword in fringe you can do you can do malicious sow I don't recommend it, but if you can only do it, it give inf and inf attack and inf defense. And for free to play, you can make gold or mythic fire fiery tomahawk. That's perfect. If you can make it to gold, that give huge stats. Don't make green. Don't make green frost frost wing. If you can make mythic or gold tomahawk that's idea so yeah for level 55 make tomahawk or or decadence world or nectar orb is really good and level 60 sword or skull crusher for second end like i told before winter meets is really good and internal codex too I myself don't know which one is the best. I still think um, it depends depend of what you want. I personally like cavalry attack, so I will go for codex. But if you want more HP, you can go for winter meets. So level 60, to my opinion, winter meets and internal codex are the best. Before level 60, for me, um, either Dark Ages are the best, it gives army attack and infantry attack, so that's a really good piece. And it's not hard to get it to blue or purple. You can make... I won't go for Dragon Fist, because it gives only car attack and army HP. So for me, don't go for it. You can go for... Viral Switchblade because it gives inf and range, 
but I won't do it because I want it. I prefer get the blueprint to my firewall plate, but that's my opinion. And of course, I like it. I like the color of the deep. If you get if you can get it in blue that's really cool like i said before i like cavalry attack so that give cav and inf attack plus infantry max hp so i repeat i just check if i forgot anything okay so i repeat before level 60 go for you can go for the crusader shield if you're completely free to play you can go for Call of the Deep, or Virual Switchblade, or Dark Ages, and when you level 60, try to get Blue, Winter Mates, or Eternal Codex in Blue, and of course, if you can get it to Purple, that's perfect. And for to finish, we will speak about accessories. So there are so many possibilities. So I will just tell you which one is good. Blight Ring is good for range. Cup is really hard to get, but it's one of the best accessories. It, it, it gives in range attack plus infantry max HP, so ça, that's, ça that's really good. And you can make Burning Troll is one of the best for me. It gives army attack, and army attack is one of the best stats in the game. You can go for Dragon Iris, Terror Vial, Fair Drum. You can go for a secret storm, and if you can get a relic in mythic or gold, go for it. It's better to get a gold or mythic relic than a green, um, I don't know, a green, a green blight ring. That's idiot. So just compare the stats and choose three accessories. You can do aqua, aqua element two. It gives two stats. You have a lot of choice. So just take a sheet or a piece of paper and write what you can do and compare them, compare what you can do and choose the best the best gear you can and I'm sure it will be good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this series on how to build a trap. I hope I helped you. And if you have any question, you can ask me online chat. My ID line is in the description. Or you can ask in the comment. I will try to help you and answer you any good questions. So I will see you soon, guys. Bye.